remember where you were the last time Iowa State beat Iowa? It was so long ago, Reggie Roby was still punting for the Hawkeyes. A Bulldog named Herschel Walker was on his way to a Heisman Trophy. Miami's Hurricanes had yet to win their first national crown. And today's starting middle linebacker for Iowa State was only 12 years old. More than 70,000 on hand for this big interstate rivalry as the Iowa Hawkeyes play host to the Cyclones of Iowa State. There's our game conditions. Now Romano's got it teed up, and we're underway. The kick to Brooks, five yards deep. He can't handle it, and Iowa... It was silly. It was really well after the uh, whistle. John... And keep your eye on the ball all day long. Hunter rolls and wants to throw. Now he'll keep it. And he's got a lot of room in front. A first down and then some. Defensively for the Hawkeyes. Up front, Mike Wells, one of the leaders of an experienced group with Blue, Nelson, Vilema, and John Hartley. Teddy Joe Faley, the inside linebacker with Mike Daly. And in the secondary, Jason Olenzak, the leading tackler with Book, Plates, and Carlos James. So immediately, the Cyclones have worked their way into Hawkeye territory. And straight up the middle and all the way to the 40-yard line. Sundi second down and two as Patterson got eight at the 40-yard line. The Iowa State Cyclones on their opening drive and marching quickly to the Hawkeye 40. Hutter looks like he changed the play up at the line. And on the option, he keeps and goes down under a heap. So it's third down and five. Bob Utter threw only 10 passes in the season opening win over Ohio University last week. And a fumble in the secondary. It's going to be Iowa football. And it's going to be Jeff Nelson on top of that ball. Patterson coughed it up. Nelson with a recovery. And, Gary, this is what really killed Iowa State early a week, a week ago, yet they were able to overcome it and win, and they start off with a turnover. Well, there's risk and rewards in running option football, but one of the things you have to be careful is not to fumble the ball on the first phase of the, uh, phase of the option. When you're handing the ball off to the fullback, that's the safest portion of the option, and that's a big mistake for uh, Iowa State early in the game. Well, the first break comes with 13.22 to go first quarter. We'll set the Iowa offense in a moment. On a toss sweep, and not much there. Offensively for Iowa, Lou Montgomery, one of the leaders in there at the fullback spot with Lampkin and Hartley at the controls. Danon Hughes, all Big Ten receiver, leads the wide receiver core, and Allen Cross the tight end. Mike Devlin, one of 12 semifinalists for the Lombardi Trophy with an experienced wall up front, fifth-year senior group along the front for Iowa offensively. And a little option of their own for the Hawkeyes, and Hartley gets out near the 43-yard line. Well, it's opening drive after recovering the fumble. Hartley to throw. Hughes is open. If he breaks that tackle, he could go a long way. Dead ball. Personal foul. On the offense, first and 25. The first down stands. It was... Oh. Angela and Hughes, the wide receivers. Montgomery in motion, and Lampkin. Takes it across the 45. He's stacked up there by the Cyclone. And anyone on this team, maybe, like to take an upset back to Ames. Second and 17 at the 47. Lampkin cuts back. Got across midfield to the 49. In game here, you would expect Antela to the bottom of your screen. Hughes, the flanker, to the top on a third and 13 for the Hawkeyes. And Hartley set to throw. Goes for Hughes, wide open. Broke a tackle, and he's got it at the 21-yard line of the year. And he's in motion on first down at the Cyclone 21, and Hartley goes to him again. 
Aiden Hughes for about seven yards already. And has set up the Hawkeyes with a second and two. Here's the option again by Hartley. Got around one man and got to the 10. I think he got the first down of the season. There's what they've done in the red zone of their opposition. And they've got it first and goal at the Iowa State 9. Jasper and Hughes, the wide receivers. And it's a draw play to Lampkin with a blocker in front. Montgomery, a great block, and Lampkin score. Marvin Lampkin, the senior out of East St. Louis. A nine-yard touchdown, and that's the way you draw up a draw play on the blackboard. Andy Kreider in for the point after. And the Iowa Hawkeyes take advantage of and not. And the Hawkeyes kick away to the Cyclones with a 7-0 lead. Brooks stumbles two yards deep. He won't bring it out again. On the return. First down. First quarter and a first and ten at the ten for Iowa State following the penalty on the kickoff. And again, it's the fullback, Patterson. Very short game yard line. The crowd already getting into it for the Iowa defense. This time out across the 16 goes Sherman Williams. Iowa State 60, uh, 46 percent, I should say, a week ago on the third down conversions and utter to throw and lost one out intended for Brooks incomplete. Schnorr backed up to his own goal line. And the left footer booms one out to Jasper who will take it at the 39. And go down at the 36. Jim Hartley at the controls. Jasper and Hughes is wide receivers. Play action and wide open is the tight end across the middle. Penalty must Iowa. Holding offense, 10 yards, spot foul. Repeat first down. Again, instead of first and 23 situation for Hartley. Plenty of time to throw. Now buying time and down he goes. And you can give that to the second down and 31 for the Hawkeyes. Use in motion from the 16. The draw play inside to Ryan Terry. And Terry broke a tackle, got across the 30 and all the way to the third. The Hawkeyes at their own 32-yard line. On third and long, Hartley pumps once and almost went down again. Finally throws back across field to Hughes. All the way to the 43-yard line. Problems. At the 43-yard line of Iowa State, the toss to Terry. And Terry again with a big gain. Lost the ball at the end of the play, and Iowa State, I think, has come out of the pack with it. He's already gained about 15 yards. 36 is Fulton. There's Bugs. They both kind of double team, and it pops out, and he catches it in midair, does Fulton. And that is a huge play for State. Bugs got a piece of him from behind, stripped that football, and between the two of them, they got it loose, and Iowa State's got it back offensively. Here's an inside handoff. Not finds a hole, and he's got a first down for Iowa State before their own 39-yard line. Again, this drive started with a fumble recovery by their defense. Utter try to go on the slant to the cornerback position for the Hawkeyes. Cyclones, second and ten. Utter's 0 for 2 so far. Flags down. I think we're going to have a holding call on Iowa State as Utter scrambles out. <laughs> 29 to 10 in this matchup. Utter slips and goes down. Sack back at the 19-yard line. Shovel pass to Patterson. Let's see if he can get in the secondary. Iowa runs him down at the 32-yard. A holding call against the D4 State at its own 29 with a third and 20. Two wide receivers, Spencer and Brooks. 
And the handoff inside to Patterson. By the Iowa State special teams, dropped Jasper for a two-yard loss. And Harold's back there again. Nor another good kick. And Jasper again will backpedal to the 12. And has an opening straight up the middle. Jasper brought down by Schnorr. Lampkin, the tailback in the Iowa Eye formation. Play fake. Hartley throws and wide open. Lou Montgomery, you hear the chance of Lou go up as he... ...ligament damage to the anterior cruciate ligament and the medial collateral ligament for Jay Jordan. They are sending him to x-rays right now to rule out uh, the possible fracture of the tibia. Who's the wide receivers? Hartley looks pretty sharp. He's had to scramble and buy some time. And he gives it off here to Montgomery. It's going to be short of... ...again for a score. Third and a yard, Iowa. Great play fake by Hartley. Dana Hughes, touchdown! His 18th career scoring reception. 28 yards, and it is 13 to nothing, Iowa. Well, it wasn't really a trick play on the reverse or anything, but they did catch him off guard. Third and inches, the old Bart Starr play up the middle, and Hughes had one-on-one -on -one coverage, and they just can't cover this football player. Andy Cryer for the point after. And it... Just what Iowa State was hoping to avoid was getting down a couple of scores early to this Iowa team. Brooks from the three. And only to the 18 before he is swarmed. That looks like his home run swing, doesn't it? I think so. <laughs> Iowa State, not much in total yardage so far. And again, they go to the full seven. Cyclones from their own 23-yard line. And again, it is Garris and Iowa State team and their fans. Third down and six, and they trail 14 to nothing. They keep it on the ground, and only going to bring about four men on the rush. Nobody comes in back. The Schnorr hit it off the side of his foot. the Iowa offense and now they face them in their own territory to open this drive at the 44 yard line after the shank punt. Penalty markers down. It's too tough to play even when you're making all the right plays. They got to get in the right spot. And when you're on the short end of the field position it doesn't help. Hartley on the option keeps. And he has to make the play. Second and 16 at midfield for the Hawkeyes. Lampkin Got about five to the 45. The biggest plays have come on third and long, and they've got third and a dozen here at the Cyclone 46-yard line. End around. Hughes dropped the ball. I think he wanted to throw off it too, Gary, but he goes down all the way back in the 40 yards. This is the guy who stays home and makes the play. Scott Fisher's punt off the side of his foot, but it does travel. Leading Iowa State with 13.06 to go in the half by two touchdowns. Utter to throw on first down and going deep and overshot his intended receiver. Sir Brooks and James McMillian, who's in a slot to the top of your screen. Utter throws on the run and completes his first pass of the day. They're 0 for 4 on their third down conversion so far. Inside give and maybe a first down this time. And then fumbled away at the... Iowa 36. That's the first time they had the ball. Now they've got a first down here to work and a little draw play. And it's Garris who gets out across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Larry Blue in on the tackle defensively for Iowa. Here's how it's gone so far. The Cyclones' deepest penetration, the 38. And Iowa, a couple of touchdowns. On three possessions, Hartley has looked brilliant. Six for six, 124 yards, 100 of those yards to wide receiver Danon Hughes. And it's 14-0 Hawkeyes. 
Second down and two. And the pitch nets a first down. First half, Iowa State trailing Iowa by 14. And here's a counter that picks up four. Lamont Hill years ago in that first collegiate start against Iowa. Second and six. Otter keeps it this time to the 41 yard line. About third and two. <laughs> <laughs> Utter long count. Yeah, they're all coming. He knows it. The give inside is not going to get him a first down. Artis Garrett, too. Uh, who's going to get the ball? Schnorr's back deep. Utter is up under center. It's fourth down in the yard. The snap. Schnorr will kick it away. High punt. Jasper will let it go. And Iowa State trying to cover it inside the 10, and they will. Just a little pick. <laughs> The Hawkeyes just outside their own four-yard line. And the second man through is Ryan Terry, and he's out across the 10 to the three. A long two as Hartley almost stumbled going back. Got it across the middle to cross his tight end, who should have the first down. 7.45 remaining now in the first half, and a two-touchdown Hawkeye lead. From the 16, Terry this time will maybe get back. A lot of kids on both teams, as you might expect, are Iowa natives and in the stadium. <laughs> no doubt from this state cheering for one or the other. Second and 15. Terry to the 16-yard line. 120 yards a week ago in the Cyclones opening win. And that's the reason they've gone to the freshman for a good part of the game at fullback. Iowa on third and long. Hartley lays it out for his tight end who made a great catch at the 37-yard line. Long and Hartley now eight for eight for 149 yards as he got 21 more there to his tight end. First down, Hawkeyes. Now they go back to the ground and Lampkin dropped for a loss. 12, Iowa just outside its own 35-yard line. Nice play action by Hartley. And he goes deep for Jasper, and he couldn't hold on. At third and long, that's when the Hawkeyes have looked the sharpest. That time he got some pressure, an incomplete intended for his tight end cross. The best of them. Scott Fisher to punt, James McMillian back for Iowa State. And he's going to have a chance at this one from the 34. Well, he got through that first wave of about four Hawkeyes. The basics. They start just inside their own 38-yard line. Do the Cyclones. Otter throws on the run, and nobody even near that one. And Cyclones. 4.49 left in the half, and they trail by two touchdowns. Patterson in motion from the Iowa State backfield. He's going to be the recipient on that pass. And he got it out across. If Iowa State's to have any opportunity to put points up, they've got to have... Butter is under center. And he does get it. And the ball is loose. And Iowa's got it. Tyrone Boudreau with a fumble recovery. And that one backfires on the Cyclones. Going, uh oh, there's 349 left in the half. As you see, right near the end of that play, the ball comes out. Boudreau with the fumble recovery. And Iowa first down at the Iowa State 47. Hart lead. Trying to throw it, and he threw it to one of his linemen. That's going to throw a flag in there. Mike Devlin is center with him. And Hartley will work from the shotgun for the first time today. Lampkin in motion. Hartley, plenty of time. Wanted to go long. And then tried to come back. Now, after starting off perfect, 8 for 8. They'll have to earn this one. Third down and 15 from their own 48 for the Hawkeyes. Hartley got some pressure, stepped up, deep middle, it's intercepted. Picked off by Matt Goodwin. So, brother Malcolm has made a lot of tackles, and brother Matt picks up the interception. You see, Iowa State will be sitting in a deep zone on this time. Four deep around the board right here. They're going to make everything happen in front of them. 
It's a good safe call. They're going to make Dana Hughes come across the middle of the field, and you'll see the crossing route, and the linebackers stay deep enough that the pass is a little bit overthrown, and the safety comes, steps underneath it. It really, I don't think, was to Dana Hughes. It was to the crossing route, and Jasper, the ball just sailed on. Really the first bad pass, especially when you throw an interception. It's obvious it's a bad one, but it gives Iowa State the football back and another chance with 3.28 and a half. Shovel pass to Patterson. To the 42, Williams, a slot man right there on the bottom right of your screen. One of three receivers if they decide to throw, and they don't. Straight up the middle of the touchdowns. Bob Utter has a look. This Utter. Patterson in the flat, and he'll take it into Iowa territory. He's been a big part of what offense they've been able to muster today. Second and five. Utter, quarterback draw. I don't think by design, but he's going to get a first down. In one season in 91. First and ten. The Cyclones of the Hawkeyes, 41. Utter got some pressure, came out of it, and he'll keep it. And down to the 33-yard line. Time in the huddle. Deepest penetration of the day for the Cyclones. Utter going to loft one out and got his man. Touchdown. Chris Spencer. Three yard scoring strike. The one thing I noticed being on the field before the game, Brad, was how big Chris Spencer was. He had the matchup he wanted, it was bump and run, and he threw a beautiful ball, and Spencer went up and got it. He's 6'4, 205. He had three catches for 35 yards and a touchdown last year against Iowa. He just got 33 on that one for a score. And the extra point is up and good. And Iowa's lead's been cut in half. 15 yards with a kick, and Stewart kicks it high. Dana Hughes waits at the six-yard line. Hughes, a dangerous return man, got it back before coming to Iowa. Lampkin. Gone as they spotted the Hawkeyes a 14-0 lead and have just scored to cut it to 14-7. Draw play, Lou Montgomery. Nice open field tackle. Seven. Hartley, who started out eight for eight and has missed his last five, directs the Iowa offense, and he gets it out to Lampkin, who got popped pretty good. Half second, down, and seven. The Hawkeyes at their own 23-yard line. And a draw play to Montgomery. First down and then some. Lou Montgomery out to the... ...to do to open the third quarter. Uh, first down on the ground out to the 36-yard line. Second man through. Lampkin with a big hole. The Iowa ground game in the third and fourth quarter. So far, it's been impressive on this drive. And here's Montgomery again. Second down at five. And it's Lampkin again. Same play they ran two play. 38 yard line. Dana Hughes in motion. Hartley wants to throw to him. Got it there. And a first five right in the face. Again, the counter to Montgomery. Tried to break. 0-2, they also went on to play in the 1982 Peach Bowl, so they know they are capable of rebounding from a slow start. Lampkin, near down, and a long six here from the 31-yard line. Straight drop. Lofts it, intended for Montgomery. And Scott Fisher will try to pooch putt. One in the corner here. Actually, he's going to lay it way up in the air and hope for his coverage, and it's just going to be a good-looking punt. It'll drop down near the 11-yard line. From its own 11-yard line with 10.31 to go third quarter. Draw play to Patterson, and he's out near a first down. Kind of situation you like to find yourself in. The true wishbone look on the triple option. First man is Patterson in quarter, and now here in the third, they've been much more impressive. There's the counter, and out across the 30 to the... Again, the Cyclones 
in a ball from the 31 yard line. Second man going nowhere is Sherman Williams. Swarmed. And James Brooks, the wide receivers. And Williams in a slot to the left side. They'll keep it on the ground. Jim Knott will not. Mike Daly. Snores had several good punts today. One that he shanked off the side of his foot. Jasper is going to have to let this one bounce in front of him. He'll be down at the at its own 28-yard line. Hughes, the motion man. Play action by Hartley. Whitaker is tight end to safety valve, and he got away. And across the 40 for... They could stop us away. First and 10, just outside the 41. And Lampkin pops through the Brava. The safety had a second and three. Hartley with some option of his own, and Lampkin got it across midfield, but third down and a yard at the 49 of Iowa State, and Iowa gets the first down as a face mask in the, end of the play. That face is going to be defense. the call. Uh, NC State did a little of that to this Iowa team. There's the rushing yardage, relatively even. Naked bootleg by Hartley. And he got around the corner. That's some excellent. We're going to hear it from 50 guys. Personal foul, defense, first down. Hartley, but command here with five minutes and five seconds left, third quarter. First and 10 at the Cyclone 14 yard line. Hartley, draw play, Montgomery. And he loses a yard. Nice open field. And he's going to have that kind of day here again, it appears. Second and 11. Here's a counter. Montgomery broke one tackle, then goes down under a wave back. At Jasper to the left. Hartley, quarterback draw. Not the way you draw it up. Anything inside of 40 yards. This will be a 30-yard attempt. It's a fake. Burmeister throws. Incomplete. His tight end had a hand on it. Gary, you can see it. Burmeister, the backup quarterback, when he rolls out, played safe by Iowa State again. Good coverage to the outside, and you'll see a little bit of a push-off by the tight end right there. He got away with one. The ball was just outside of his reach. 14-7 to the Hawkeyes. Patterson in motion. Utter comes back to his safety. Second and ten. Draw play inside. Patterson maybe. Utter in trouble. Down he goes. Enzo. And the Hawkeyes should get great field position out of this. Jasper's back near midfield. Not the greatest of punts. But Jasper's going to have to let it roll. And so a punt that was not that pretty goes all the way to the in the stadium's history. Last week it was for Miami, today for Iowa State. First and ten, Hawkeyes over the middle. Oh, that's a dangerous pass. The tight end cross. Packed house for this today. Now you are an, a graduate of Iowa in this right. political year. How do you stay non-political, or well, do you? I'm also a farmer, and Iowa State is our agriculture university. So I support both schools. I'm very proud of our university system in Iowa. First down is Hartley on the option kept to the 47-yard line. And now Montgomery, the fullback, got through. Danielson and Charlene Hawks with you in Iowa City. Where the Hawkeyes start the fourth and final quarter with a second and six. In Iowa State territory, and Ryan Terry breaks into the secondary. All the way to the 25. 25 yards and only eight carries. He'll take it again. And he's got about the four. Yards. The Hawkeyes at the Iowa State 20 yard line. The ground game has been impressive. The last quarter and some change. And the ball came loose at the end of that one. And Iowa State's covered it. Dan Milner on top of the ball as Lampkin going down, coughed it up. There was a whole host of guys that made the tackle, but I think it's the middle linebacker that is going to make the play that you should track Goodwin. You'll see Terry come around, gets hit. It is Goodwin, gets up off the line, and boy, I'll tell you, it looked like he was down on his back that time when that popped out. The ball came clean, and I don't think... 13.47 left, down a touchdown. 
on the option. They finally pitched to the trail man, which is something they have. Three receivers set this time for Bob Utter. Again, he's going to against the wind but it doesn't matter when you give to your fullback and he does that for you cards out that's where we stand after a scoreless third quarter and utter dropped the ball does iowa have it the iowa hawkeyes still with a lead with 13 13 left but the cyclones have it back second and 11 at their own 31 yard line utter in and out of patterson's hand spencer the wide receiver to the right side Utter looked that way and now in trouble. And down he goes at the 36. Blair out. Jasper will field this one at the 34 on the run. Broke a couple of tackles, but still got only to about the third. Got twisted around. Hughes comes out of the Iowa backfield this time as Hartley drops to throw. Fires to the tight end cross. To the 49 of I at the total plays in the second half. Now I was at it twice as much with this snap. Short gain that time as Dan in the ball game, second and seven. The Hawkeyes at the Cyclones 46 yard line. Again, the Hawkeyes are with the win this quarter as Hartley drops and fires for Hughes, and he's got it. Out of bounds of the 25. Four and the touchdown. And on first down, Lampkin to the 24. Confidence. Second and eight. Hartley off play action. Hughes just overshot it. Maybe a lot guys by a touchdown with 10.35 to play. Hartley by a quarterback draw. And he's got the first down. High short by that much. Inches for Iowa. The ball game could be hinging on those inches. And Iowa State's jumped off as Hartley drew them offside, it appears. And it's in a first down Hawkeyes at the Cyclone 11 yard line. And the ball just outside the 10 yard line. Down to 9.20 to play. Hughes in motion. Second man through. To the. Third and seven, Hartleib over the middle, Jasper, touchdown! He had the lone score a week ago against Miami. He's no longer just the other receiver on the opposite side of David Hughes. Touchdown, Jasper, and it's 20 to 7, Hawkeyes. Andy Kreider for the point after. Got a situation they didn't want to be in, playing catch up down by two scores. Hunter got it complete. Pass to Garris, broke a tackle, and the shovel pass. Get our defensive players gone, and Iowa State for the first and ten at its own 45-yard line. Uh, the keeper, Utter, at about three, and that's... And it's 21 to 7, Hawkeye. Cyclones trying to battle back. Here's that shovel pass again. This time it does nothing. Artist Gear. And it's third down at six. Cyclones have to have this one. Utter. Had it caught. I thought it was good. The general vicinity, but McMillian's the one that hauled it in. First down, Cyclones at the Iowa Hawkeyes 40. So the drive is still alive. First man through, broke, broke a tackle, and all the way to the 26-yard line goes Artis Garris for Iowa State. A first down at the Hawkeyes, 26. Garris again, and he got near the 25 and a half minutes left. Second and six at the 21. And again, they go with the first man, Artis Garris. That really doesn't matter right now. The fact that 
The Cyclones are down 14. Does matter. Straight ahead. Garrett's first down. First and 10. There's what the drive has consumed so far. At the Iowa 13, Cyclones try to cut into the lead again. And again, they go to the lead man. And at the Hawkeye 11. Utter keeps this one and got only to the 10. And now they find third and seven. Utter throws. It's intercepted by Olenzak. The third turnover, and that one is the killer, I'm afraid, for Jim Walton Cyclones. Well, Bobby Utter this time came out and tried to hit Lamont Hill in the flat. But it appeared to me that Hill went upfield a little bit. These two receivers are going to go up and clear for Hill coming in the flat right here. But you'll see the ball is slightly overthrown. If you can stop it right there, freeze it, you're going to see Olenzak come with the coverage and then fall back for the interception. There it is. I think Hill fooled Utter on his route that time. He thought... And Jason Olenzak just ripped off the Cyclones of what might have been a touchdown. Cliff King carries out. Guys in front by two touchdowns, and they have a second and six from their own six. And now they got a power eye backfield for Hartley, who gives it off again to King. And he is out. It is seven points here in the second half, and now trailing by 14. Out to the 16-yard line, Paul Cuyatl and that clock for all it's worth as Iowa's rolled up some pretty impressive numbers today. 429 in total offense. Cuyatl trying to add to it here, but more importantly, just trying to hold on to the Cyclones on the short end of a 21-7 margin right now with 121 to go. Hartley fires out. Dana Hughes has another catch, and he'll go down. Iowa State has only one timeout left, and Iowa with a first down at its own 29-yard line. Ryan Terry has had a good ball game, got only about a yard this time. And we're down to a half minute left. Cliff King this time. Has won their first game of the year. After losses to North Carolina State in Miami, the Hawkeyes beat their interstate rivals from Ames for the 10th straight time. Tough loss for the Cyclones, but Hayden Fry's club wins it 21-7. That's going to wrap it up from Iowa City, where the Hawkeyes win it for Charlene Hawks and Gary Danielson. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long from Iowa City. Chris Fowler.